Your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Hannah Jewell. Here's a look at the top stories we're following for you today. Tolling on Bay City's Liberty Bridge not going as once expected. The question on most area drivers' minds is really when will it begin? Tolling was supposed to begin last month, but delays pushed it back to May. And now Bay City Bridge Partners is leaving the exact date up in the air. Delays in setting up accounts and distributing distributing transponders prompted Bay City Bridge Partners to push back the tolling to a date yet to be determined. Bay City Bridge Partners did make it clear it will notify residents when tolling begins at least two weeks in advance. When Flint Community School students return to class on Monday, they will not be allowed to have backpacks. The district banned them in all school buildings for the rest of the year. Superintendent Kevlin Jones says so far they've received nothing but positive feedback on the decision. He says the backpack ban will help control what is being brought inside schools. Jones also says school administrators determined that clear backpacks could not completely address the issue, deciding that banning all backpacks is the best answer. An old GM site in Saginaw is getting new life, now open as a sprawling recreation area. The 334-acre Saginaw River Headwaters Rec Area has more than 3, million, 3 miles of trails. Visitors will be able to enjoy hiking, biking, fishing, and wildlife. There will also be a discussion today at the Hoyt Library about the recreation area. For more details, you can click the link in our hot link section on WNEM.com. The park is located on 77 West Center Street near Vermont and Fraser. Now here's Kyle Gillette with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Hannah. As we go into the rest of the afternoon, we do have a few of those rain showers continuing to move through for parts of the area, but we do have some clearing on the way, and we could be talking about a little bit of sunshine for you as well. Here's a look at your satellite ongoing right now. As you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, the clouds are breaking up a little bit there at times, so it's possible that we do sneak in a brief look at some sunshine before we do cloud back up going into the evening hours before our next chance of rain. Here's a look at the hour by hour. By lunchtime, we should be well into those 50s for most folks and then later on into the evening we have those temperatures closer to near 60 degrees and even in the lower 60s for parts of mid Michigan south of the bay but we do add in those rain shower chances going into the evening and that's more so uh, near and after dinner time for most folks going into uh, the later evening hours for the really parts of the thumb and our far northeastern portions of mid Michigan that are north of the Saginaw Bay we do have a better chance for really some heavier downpours at times but other than that we're not looking at too much of anything uh, of concern with these showers moving through. More shower chances will be possible as we go throughout your Sunday and even into your Monday as well as more of these uh, small low pressure systems pivot throughout portions of mid Michigan going into the next several days. Rain chances continue through Tuesday. It is looking pretty decent that we'll have a dry period for at least Wednesday and parts of your Thursday before more rain chances uh, return to the forecast Thursday evening going into Friday and uh, as far as the temperatures go, we're generally below average outside of today and outside of Thursday, but we do have a gradual warming trend as we go into the next couple of weeks, eventually making it back to that warm, sunny weather that we would expect this time of year as we uh, go into May. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.